preface of what happened last night. Um, we had a GA out at Boone Farm. In the, the storm. In the storm, in the monsoon, <laughs> the torrential monsoon. Uh, to give y'all a little picture of what was happening there, about 20 of us huddled up under a tarp. Sort of. That were like, kind of like, holding the tarp at every edge because the wind was about to blow us away in a maelstrom of death. Um, and, and, and that was sort of the first GA since we had received the response from the mayor's office to our letter that we sent last Friday. And are you all interested in hearing the mayor's office's response to our letter? Vivek has just mentioned that he would be perhaps interested in hearing the content of the original letter that we sent to the mayor's office. Is that something that we should perhaps review as yeah. well? Yeah. Are, are there any opposed to that for the sake of time? Or? Okay, cool. Um, does anyone have that letter on them? I don't have it pulled up on my phone quite yet. Okay, um, well, please bear with me as I pull up this important information. Actually, would anyone be willing to pull that up while I read the mayor's response real quick? The mayor's original letter to us? No, our original letter to the mayor. I can get it right now. Yes. Cool. Beautiful. And, and while we're doing that, I'll just go ahead and <laughs> read the mayor's response for the sake of time. For the sake of time. Is that okay? Just because we have a lot to do tonight. I should mention that um, after the GA last night, a small task force of people met to address that letter and figure out what our next step would be. And uh, we, we did issue a letter in response this morning at 9 a.m., like Jeremy mentioned. Um, and we delivered that to him, and then he responded again to us. So the primary business at hand tonight on the agenda is going to be a nomination process of five to six representatives to go meet with the mayor tomorrow at 11.30. Um, there, there have been a couple of suggestions as to how we can go about this. Obviously, you know, um, you can throw your own name in the hat or you can be nominated to go in the hat. And um, it has been suggested perhaps that people speak for uh, one to two minutes about what they would have to say at the mayor's office and how that would represent us as a group. How do people feel about that process of having people either nominate themselves or get nominated by a peer, come up, speak for one to two minutes about that, and then we, or, or one minute, how do we feel about one minute, keep it concise? Anyone opposed to one minute? Um, cool, that sounds great to me. So after we review the, the letters, we'll go ahead and uh, we, uh, go through the nomination process. Yes, uh, somebody going to be taking it? Sorry? Someone going to be taking it to the rest Yeah, he's of taping. We, we've got a... Uh, the mayor's off tomorrow. Yes, yeah. yes we, we just addressed that through the media. Okay, so. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, everyone can hear me okay? You can hear back there, Josh? Cool. All right. A message from the General Assembly of Occupy Richmond on behalf of the people. To Mayor White Jones, this is a formal notification by the General Assembly of Occupy Richmond that we believe our constitutional rights have been infringed upon and oppressed. We have attempted to function within available legal channels, including the city permitting process, appeals to city council, and direct negotiations. These have failed us. We issue the following proposal and firmly insist you reasonably consider and respond to said proposal by 5 p.m. Monday, November 14th, the end of your next day of business. Number one, we propose that you authorize the director of Richmond Department of Parks and Recreation, Dr. Norman Merrifield, to issue explicit documented permission under his authority pursuant to section 26-397D of Richmond City Code 2 explicitly permit Occupy Richmond to exercise our constitutional rights 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without incurring any violation of the following ordinances, the Sunset Clause and the Encampment Clause. Number three, this permission is to be issued in accordance with the Constitution of the United States, specifically acknowledging peaceable assembly, speech, expression, and protest, re- and it's like the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging freedom of speech or of the press, or the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. This applies to all of our public spaces. Four, 
If our, proposal, if our proposal is not heeded and our grievances not redressed, we will pursue other available and legal avenues of action, perhaps even engaging in occupation on private property within the city of Richmond. A supporter of the movement, Mr. Ray H. Boone, has graciously offered his yard for this purpose. In strength and solidarity, the General Assembly of Occupy Richmond. Now, um, this was sent off uh, before we actually occupied Mr. Boone's property. We're clearly occupying Mr. Boone's property. Um, to preface this, we did not receive a response from the city until 10.42 p.m. on Monday, five hours after our requested time, which was like three and a half days. I think he has time to read the email and do all that. But uh, this is the direct response that we got from the mayor's office. I'm responding on behalf of the Mayor's Office to the General Assembly of Occupy Richmond's email dated November 12, 2011. Please be advised that Mayor Jones' email address was entered incorrectly, however, we did ultimately receive the email. Mayor Jones discussed the notification that you sent to the City of Richmond during his lunch meeting with City Councils today. That was Monday. Please be advised that the Richmond City Council has not indicated a desire to change existing law or desire, to, or desire for the existing ordinances to be overlooked. Also, a decision was previously reached in consultation with the city attorney, the commonwealth's attorney, and city administration officials regarding the authority of the Department of Parks and Recreation, which indicated that the department would not be acting within the law by allowing 24 hours a day, seven days a week occupation of public park property. While the mayor recognizes and appreciates First Amendment rights to freedom of expression and peaceful assembly, the city's position remains the same in that the government, the city's government, has a responsibility to enforce the existing laws. Cheryl Ivy Green, not the mayor, mayor's office, city of Richmond, blah, 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 blah. And then we received another letter a couple days later. Does anyone have a direct copy of that on them, a paper copy that they wouldn't mind reading? Jeremy, Jeremy, do you have it on your phone? Jeremy's picking it up. I can pull it up as a quick case. Oh, no more. It has been suggested that I also mention, um, as a preface to this next letter, that um, 1042, when we did receive the uh, response from the mayor's office was well after city council ended and if any of you were at city council you saw that we were there in full force. We probably had 60, 80 of us sitting there in the audience prepared for the citizen comment period at the very end of the meeting. Uh, mayor Jones was there until right before the citizen comment period when she hopped up and left. <laughs> um, so he wasn't even there to sort of listen to our own grievances. Um, and do we have that letter pulled up quite yet? <laughs> I, think I apologize that this is kind of slow, y'all. You know, we have a lot of information on the table because tonight is very important. We are uh, picking five people from within this mass of hundreds to go and deliver information. So we should make sure that we're all on the same page before we go do deliver that information. Is that a point of clarification or...? So, so the question that was asked was, why do we only get five people? That's a good question. Um, that is a good question. The, the answer to that, we have point of information. Yes, actually the letter that we're looking for now to read did ask that we state the number of representatives that were going and the letter that was delivered this morning failed to do that. So when somebody from the office was asking us a couple of questions going over for clarity, she asked how many people would be coming. I said, I'm sorry, but we hadn't decided that, but I would expect about six because we want to have a full conversation, but we don't want to gang up on you. You know, we can send as many as we like. We don't want to blow our credibility, I don't think, but that's what happened this morning. Um, so we have a, we have a point of, uh, I'm sorry, a clarifying question and then another point of information. Did you okay. mention how long we're meeting? Or was it mentioned how long we're meeting? No, not at all. Okay. Um, also, the task force yesterday that was voted by the General Assembly in the rain um, outside yesterday decided that five to six would probably be best. Um, 
and that was voted by GA yesterday to use, but I'm not saying, I'm just, I'm giving a clarifying statement, I'm not saying it needs to be done. Um, was it decided that we were going to do five or seven? Yeah, at the table. At the table? Yeah. Okay, I didn't hear that. But it doesn't, th that was still just a task force decision that wasn't a GA decision, so. Yeah, uh, um, this is no. a point of clarification, so it has to be in the form of a question, correct? correct? Okay, so my question is, since decisions were made about this very important meeting outside of the body, how is, is and, and that, that a special task force was, was put forward, my question is, how are people who, who have experienced the, the actions of this General Assembly as being, I guess, um, operating without without the general consent or, or um, I guess making decisions after a meeting is adjourned. How are the how are the people as a whole supposed to trust the process when, when we don't really even have have any idea what's going on in the process or where meetings are supposed to be taking place? Okay, so we have a point of information right over here, and then I would like to take a tech check on how the group is feeling about this discussion. Whether we should whether we should go ahead and move on to the letter and get all the information on the table, and then perhaps continue this discussion. So okay, I was just going to answer his question. Yesterday, the GA was really small because it was a torrential downpour outside. And, 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 excuse me. Okay. All right. So yesterday, the GA, because we were outside, voted that a task force would be created to discuss this information. Um, that task force then moved to like Hall Street and 150 so that we could get out of the rain and discuss this information. So that task force wasn't just some extrajudicial body that was created out of thin air. It was actually voted into effect by the GA. Um, Chris wasn't there, so he didn't know that, so I'm answering his question for him. This was actually voted into effect by the GA. So we are following process here. And then we had Alan had another point of information. Yeah, I just wanted to add that, yeah, it was voted by GA, and we discussed it, all of us at GA, as best as we could to decide how to respond and felt like he was forcing our time frame but that it was best to meet him at least with a response at the early second because his letter said that we haven't read yet he would clear a schedule to meet with us as early as nine this morning and we felt like we could be called out for failing to live up to what we said we wanted a meeting if we didn't show right up so we decided to do that and set a time and we're here now Okay, so, what, uh, wait, what, just a second, we've had several people coming up and for this and we're also going to be doing a temp check, but there's, I believe you had a point of information. And, and real quick, I would just like to insert myself as moderator for a moment and mention that we use the hand signals to remain nonverbal and that our facilitation team will do its best to call on your hand signal in the order in which it was seen. Okay. We're not trying to silence anyone, we're simply trying to keep the process fair. Right, Actually, I'm okay as long as um, you know that we understood that it wasn't the full body of the GA and we actually needed a modified GA process due to the extreme circumstances out of our control. Do we need that repeated louder? Because I saw some of these. And so, if that needs to be done, we can do that. The man in the hat back there, did you have also a point of information or something you wanted to say? All right. Okay, mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Is everyone in the back? Is everyone in the back? Still able to hear us? Still able to hear us. Without mic check. Without mic check. I'm getting some nose. We're getting some nose. Mic check. Mic check. I'm getting some nose. I'm getting some nose. Is it okay if we move to mic check? Is it okay if we move to mic check? To ensure everyone can hear. To ensure everyone can hear. Beautiful. We have the letter. We have the letter. We also have a point of clarification. We also have a point of clarification. How many people were at the meeting last night? How many people were at the meeting last night? And is that a quorum? And is that a quorum? Uh -huh. um, I will say that we don't have a quorum requirement. I will, I will say, say that we don't have a quorum requirement. 
And it was how many, how many people were at the meeting? About twenty. About uh, twenty. Wait, I'm sorry, clarification. Do you mean GA or do at you mean at the General Assembly? Not twenty. Twenty. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Something like that, and then 20 for the task force. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, to apply. Also, about 10 individuals stayed at the camp. Yeah, about 10 individuals stayed at the camp to keep the camp going. To keep the camp going. And chose not to go. They chose not to go. So now we have the letter. So now we have the letter. Fine then. Fine. Let's go ahead and hear it. Yeah. General Assembly of Occupy Richmond. General Assembly of Occupy Richmond. Thank you for responding to our invitation to meet. Thank you for responding to our invitation to meet. We are able to reschedule as you requested. We are able to reschedule as you requested. And would like to meet on Friday. And would like to meet on Friday. <coughs> November 18th at 11.30 a.m. November 18th at 11.30 a.m. Please come to the second floor of City Hall. Please come to the second floor of City Hall. To the large conference room. To the large conference room. Also, today your representatives. Also, today your representatives. Said we should expect about six people to attend the meeting. Said we should expect about six people to attend the meeting. Please let me know if that expected attendance changes. Please let me know if that expected attendance changes. Um, she also sent another letter. She also, she also sent, sent another, another letter. letter. Email. Email. Dear Occupy, Dear Occupy, we see where you all have posted the mayor's letter. We see where you all have posted the mayor's letter. Dated November 16th online. Dated November 16th online. Please be advised that some of the original wording. Please be advised that some of the original wording is misplaced on what you put up online. Is misplaced on what you put up online. And there are also some typos. And there are also some typos. You may want to correct your posting. You may want to correct your posting. So that it reflects the actual content of the mayor's letter. So that it reflects the actual content of the mayor's letter. That's it. And just real quick, can everyone hear me okay without mic check? I'm pretty good at projecting, okay. I think that we were trying to hear the letter that the original response that the mayor sent to us. Is that is that correct? I'll read it out very quickly so that we can move to the nomination processes or however we choose as a GA to do this. Um, Dear General Assembly of Occupy Richmond, this is a formal invitation, again offering to meet with me as mayor of the city of Richmond. As I indicated when I met with you at Kanawa Plaza on October 27, 2011, I am open to meeting with members of Occupy Richmond and am willing to schedule such a meeting. Since that time, I have not received a request to meet with me or my staff. However, I did receive your written request requesting waiver of city ordinances, blah, blah, blah. My office responded to your written communication on Monday, November 14, 2011. At this juncture, I believe a formal meeting would still be beneficial. I continue to affirm and respect your right to freedom of expression, and I appreciate that you visited City... Uh, my phone just died. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, 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 would it be okay? Perhaps if I summarize the letter? Is that okay? Okay, summarizing the letter, he included a bunch of points that uh, he believed his administration was doing to purport our issues onto the city, such as homeless uh, help and prison abolition work and a number of other things that he thought our issues were that he was trying to advance within the city. And he also said, I would like to meet with you as soon as 9 a.m. today. He did not mention an explicit time. He simply said, as soon as 9 a.m. today, sign the May. If I can add to that, we did discuss this explicitly last night that he said, I can rearrange my schedule to do it as soon as. When we walked in there, the receptionist said, you're here to meet with the mayor now. Assuming that we weren't, the two of us, going to have this appointment that we had never scheduled. So they did make that assumption, and now they've said, we're rescheduling. They're kind of framing it differently than they said themselves. Maybe if they're going to correct our typos, we should call them on theirs, but that's a common story. We've also got our response to the mayor, which Megan is going to read real quickly. Mayor Dwight Jones. Mayor Dwight Jones. General Assembly, General Assembly of Occupy Richmond, of Occupy Richmond has, received has received your invitation for, your invitation for discussion, discussion 
as of Wednesday, as of Wednesday, November 16th, November 16th, 2011, 2011, at 7 p.m. At 7 p.m. We would like, we would like to send representatives, to send representatives from Occupy Richmond, from Occupy Richmond, to meet with you, to meet with you. At City Hall. At City Hall. On Friday, November 18th. On Friday, November 18th. Any time between. Any time between. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. And 3 p.m. And 3 p.m. To discuss our right. To discuss our right. To peaceably assemble. To peaceably assemble. And to occupy. And to occupy. Public space. Public space. In the city of Richmond. In the city of Richmond. We wish to thank you. We wish, we wish to thank you for recognizing for recognizing the similarities the similarities we share we share in our efforts in our efforts to fight for to fight for socioeconomic justice socioeconomic justice and we would like and we would like to discuss these to discuss these broad ideas with you broad ideas with you. In the future. In the future. We currently feel that. We currently feel that. A discussion on our right. A discussion on our right. Peaceably assemble. To peaceably assemble. Is long overdue. Is long overdue. And we respectfully request. And we respectfully request. That we limit our discussion to this subject. That we limit our discussion to this subject. For now. For now. If you wish to contact us, if you wish to contact us, in direct response to this letter, in direct response to this letter, or for any other matter in the future, or for any other matter in the future, please send all communications to, please send all communications to, Occupy Richmond, Occupy Richmond at gmail.com, at gmail.com. We look forward to, we look forward to meeting with you, meeting with you in the near future, in the near future. General Assembly of Occupy Richmond. General, General Assembly of Occupy Richmond. Yeah, and we all uh, heard the, the city's response to that, which uh, Jeremy got today, or all the media team got today, which said that we would uh, that his schedule is open for 11:30 tomorrow on Friday, which means that we need to go ahead and elect some representatives to meet with him tomorrow at 11:30. I'm sorry, nominate and approve representatives for tomorrow at 11:30. Um,